Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2021, slot 3 DIRR, says that we are given a chart over here. And if someone does not know what this chart is called, this is called Gantt chart. Many of you would call it a bar graph, but it is a kind of uh, chart in which you have timelines. Okay, so it is called a Gantt chart, a special kind of a bar graph. In this case, we are given that there are four employees. You can call them A, B, D and T, whom Dhoni supervised in 2020. Although there were five projects that started uh, and concluded in 2020 in which they were involved. So there are five projects, one, two, three, four, five. For each of these projects and for each employee, the starting date was the beginning of the month and concluding day was the end of the month. So you need not about worry about the date of the month. You just need to count the number of months. And these are indicated by the left and right endpoints of corresponding horizontal bars. Like for example, in project 1, a person, uh, let's say Tinni, started on January 1 and finished on before March 1. So it took 2 months for 2 month work. So 2 month work for these people. 2 month work for these people. For example, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 months work. So this is how you need to calculate without worrying about which months they are starting at. Then we are given a few uh, data uh, markings and these are important. It says for each employee his or her total project month. What is total project month? Sum of the number of months the person worked across the five projects. Okay, so for example, let us say Abani. Okay, so Abani worked for two months here, worked for two months here and for five months here. So Abani the total month is nine project month. So this is project month. Next thing is called that annual completion index is the weightage, weighted average of the completion percentage assigned from different projects with the weights being the corresponding number of months the person worked in these projects. So now this was the project month. Now we will find the completion index. How do we find completion index? It is the weighted average. Let's see what is the completion index in this case. So uh, for the two month project, the person is working for two months. So 100% two months, 100% two months. Five month project working is 80%. So 80% of five is four months and total the person is working for nine months. So it is total is eight by nine, which is 88.89%. So this is how one needs to find the completion index for a person. Now we are given that uh, for each project we have employee month. Now what is employee month? Like we were calculating in terms of person the project month. In terms of project we will complete the find the employee month. So this part employee month is 6 because 2 plus 2 plus 2. And here uh, employee month is the sum of the number of months the employees work. And its completion index is the weighted average of the completion percentage assigned. So employee month is 6. If you have to find the completion uh, percentage, that is completion index. So it will be 2 plus 2 plus 80 percent of 2 is 1.6 by 6. So 5.6 by 6. So that will be the completion index. So this is how one needs to find the completion index. Let's say for example, second project, the employee month is 5. And completion index is going to be 90% of 3 is 2.7 plus 2 by 5. So 4.7 by 5. So that is how one needs to calculate these values. But no need to calculate all these values in advance. Only the questions that they ask for, then only calculate the values. So here is the first question. Which of the following statements is or are true? The total project month was the same for the four employees. The total employee month was the same for the five projects. So we need to find the project month and employee month. We just have to literally add them. So project month for employees. So A, we calculated previously also. It is total nine months. For B, B it is two here, four here and three here, nine months. Then we have T. 
T is having two months, two months, four, four, three, seven, and two total nine months. And the last person is D. D is having three months here, and then three months again here. Six plus two, eight plus one, nine. So this statement is true. Second statement says that the total employee month was the same for five products. Now employee month here is six. Here it is five. So it, within the first two itself, we can say that it is not the same, and here it is even more. So only first statement is true. So such an easy question, you did not have to find the weighted average. Which employees did not work in multiple projects for any of the four months in 2020? Okay, so this is just an observation based question. Very simple question to answer. The graph should not be overlapping. Okay, so if you see, uh, let's see the yellow lines. Yellow lines overlap here. Okay, so yellow person is Tini. So Tini is working. Okay, so Tini cannot be the answer. All four of them cannot be the answer. Let's see others. So we have the red one not overlapping anywhere. Okay, here the project is finished, then a new project is started. So Abani is one of them. Now we are left with Abani, Bahani, Abani, Bahani, and Dani. Okay, so Abani and Bani are already uh, in present in both options. So let's just check for Dani. So Dani is working here, working here, no overlap, no overlap in this case, no overlap. So all of them did not work in multiple projects except Timmy. Timmy worked in multiple projects during this September month. The project duration measured in terms of number of months is the same during which uh, at least one employee uh, in the project what which of the following pairs of projects had the same duration now what is project duration there is project month right there are two terms one was project month uh, the employee month of a project that was the sum but we are given another term called project duration it is the number of months uh, in terms of number of months, it is the time during which at least one pro employee worked on the project. Like for example, for this project, the project duration is three months because uh, first month, second month and third month, at least one employee is working. This project also has a duration of three months. Do we have an option one and two? No. Next is this project which has uh, a project duration of five months. This project has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So project 3 and 4 have the same duration. And this project has a project duration of 4 months. So project 3 and 4 have same duration. And 1 and 2 also have the same duration. In the options, we will pick 3 and 4. The list of employees in decreasing order of their annual completion indexes. Now this is the only question wherein you had to calculate that weighted average for annual completion index okay so all of them worked for nine months that we already know we calculated in the previous question if we see uh, we will find the completion index of a b c d a b uh, t and d so a worked for two months here two months here 80 percent of 80 percent of five months is four so eight by nine that is the completion index of A. B, two months. And here we have four months, that is three. So this will be two and three. 90% of three is 2.7. So five, 7.7 7 by nine. Okay. Then if you look at T, it is 1.6 and complete. Rest of the projects are complete. So it is total is 8.6 by nine. Last is D, here it is 2.7 and rest all are complete. So it will be 8.7 by 9. That is the completion index. So D is the highest followed by T, followed by A and B. So D, T, A, B. That will be the answer. Now this question could have been answered without doing the calculation also just by observation. How by observation is? See, uh, although it is weighted average, but if you notice, D has completed all the projects except one in which D has done 90%. Okay. If you look at T also has completed all projects. If you see D has completed these three projects completely 
and in one project did 90%. T completed three projects, in one project did only 80%. So D is greater than T. Okay, so D definitely might be the highest because D is completing with 100% accuracy all the projects. Now, if you see this person completing just B, that is Bahani, completing 90%, 75%. So, least has to be Bahani. So, we could eliminate options A and B saying that Bahani has to be the least. And among Dani and Tini, we saw that Dani is doing the most work. So, using observation also one could have answered. Otherwise, calculations were also not very difficult for this question. So, this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.